Halloween is the ideal time of year to get real cozy, wrap yourself in some kind of safety blanket and play some of the spoopiest games you can find. Ideally ones with some kind of dark setting and mechanic that will up your heart rate a little. Well, fear not, or I guess as the case may be, be very afraid because I've got just the game for you and it's based on one of the best horror movies of all time too. Here's how to play Alien, Fate of the Nostromo. Take a moment to bask in the glory of Jonesy before unfolding the game board revealing the floor plan of the Nostromo. Take the Alien standee, this is the morale marker, and place her on the morale marker track, either on 15 morale or 20 morale, depending on the number of players. Place two scrap tokens at each of these locations. Garage, Mother, Med Bay, and Maintenance Bay. Place the remaining scrap tokens in a pile to the side of the board. This is your scrap pile. Make sure all the concealed tokens are face down and shuffle them. Now place one in each of these locations. Garage, Workshop, and Maintenance Bay. The remaining concealed tokens can be placed in a stack to the side of the board. Place one coolant canister token at each of these locations. Workshop, Garage, Maintenance Bay, Equipment Storage, Mother, and Hypersleep. The rest of the items can be laid out to the side of the board to be used later in the game. Shuffle the objective cards and reveal one card for each player plus one. So in a three player game, you should have four objective cards for example. The remaining objective cards can go back in the box. They won't be needed this game. Shuffle the final mission cards and draw one at random, placing it face down next to the face up objective cards. The remaining final mission cards can be returned to the box. Shuffle the encounter cards and place the draw deck face down next to the board, ideally within reach of all players. Place the alien miniature in the nest. Each player chooses a crew member to play and takes the corresponding crew placard in front of them. All crew member minis start in the galley. Give each player a player reference card. Like most cooperative games, you either all win together or lose together. And there are always more ways to lose than there are to win. In the case of Alien Fate of the Nostromo, your win objectives change based on the objectives you have laid out during setup, followed by the final mission that will lay out the final win condition once you have completed the objectives. You lose if either your morale marker reaches the crew loss space on the track, or if the self-destruct sequence reaches its final countdown. The self-destruct sequence is only ever activated through a final mission. The player who most recently had a cat hiss at them goes first. He's very friendly. Well, guess it's me then. A turn is split into two parts, the crew action phase and the encounter phase. During the crew action phase, you will perform a number of actions up to the number indicated on your crew placard. For example, if you are Ripley, you can take up to four actions. The actions available to you are listed on your player reference card and include Move, you can move one space for one action. Picking up and dropping also cost one action each. However, it only costs one action to pick up multiple scrap tokens in one go, whereas items will cost one action per item to pick up. Using some items costs one action also. Those that don't will be indicated by the blue text on the reference card stating no action required. Don't forget that each character also has a special ability as indicated on their crew placard. Using your special ability counts towards the number of total actions you can take this turn, and unless otherwise specified, you can take this action multiple times on your turn. Crafting an item costs, you guessed it, one action. To craft, simply pay the number of scrap indicated on the very left of the player reference card next to the item you wish to craft, into the supply and put the item you have crafted into your inventory space. Make sure you place it with the blue side face up. Another possible action you can take is to trade. For this, you may give or take any number of scrap tokens or items to each other. After you have completed the crew phase, you move on to the encounter phase. For this, you draw a card from the encounter deck and resolve the card from top to bottom. Move the alien the indicated number of spaces. The alien will move towards the closest crew member. In case of a tie, crew members can choose who the alien moves towards. If the alien moves into a room with one or more crew members inside it, they lose morale equal to the number in the top right of the encounter card. 
Any crew members that encountered the alien must flee by moving exactly three spaces in a direction of their choice. When fleeing, a crew member might move into a room with a concealed token. In this case, the crew member must stop as soon as they encounter one and resolve it. This could cause another encounter, but more on encountering concealed tokens in a moment. The black box on the card indicates the card type. This is important for some cards that ask you to shuffle certain types of cards back into the encounter deck. You might also see some symbols at the bottom of the card that are asking you to place the indicated number of tokens into the room written just above them. For example, you will need to add two scrap tokens and one concealed token to the airlock. Do not add a concealed token if the airlock already has one. If you place a concealed token into a room that already has a crew member in it, you do not need to reveal it. A crew member may leave the room without revealing it, but if a crew member enters the room, you must reveal the encounter token and resolve the encounter. Let's talk some more about how to resolve those concealed tokens then. When a crew member walks into a room with a concealed token, you'll first need to check if any objectives have been completed before revealing the concealed token. Upon revealing, you will see one of three things. Either, the room is empty and you're safe. You reveal Jonesy and he hisses at you, for which you lose one morale. Or you get a surprise attack. For this, you must move the alien into the room where the token was revealed. If the token was revealed because a crew member moved into the room, decrease morale by the amount indicated on the token. Any crew member in the room must flee exactly three spaces. The crew phase ends immediately and you skip the encounter phase for that turn. In any case, you will need to shuffle the token you revealed back into the token stack. You may have noticed that several effects in the game cause you to lose morale. If the morale tracker ever hits the bottom of the morale track, you've lost the game. So make sure you keep a close eye on it and take a look at what the items do too, because some of them can soak up a morale hit. The only way to win the game is to complete the objectives followed by the final mission. Objectives are pretty self-explanatory and tell you what they need you to do on any given card, but the majority will require a crew member to take an item to a location, so just make sure that item is in somebody's inventory and get them there. In this case, they do not need to drop or use the item in that location. Some objectives will require you to drop an item at a location, in which case you'll need to perform the dropping action for that item in that location before you have completed the objective. You may pick the item back up again after the objective is completed. Once you have completed all of the objectives, you get to reveal the final mission, which will give you instructions with how to complete the game. If you can complete the final mission without letting your morale marker hit the final space, you've won the game. Otherwise, you all lose. I hope you enjoyed this video and it was of some use to you if you're looking to play Alien Fate of the Nostromo. I highly recommend it. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you'd like to see more of us, hit that subscribe button, like and share it to all your friends as well. And if you'd like to see more or read any articles, you can also head over to dicebreaker.com. Thanks very much for watching and have a lovely day.